Okay, we're going to keep on going here. Uh, this is what we have so far, and with all my talking, thinking and talking at the same time has always been tough for me. Um, I forgot to save this file. I, I named it, which is good, but uh, do file save or command S on the Mac, control S on the PC. So I'm going to hit command S, and there, now my file is saved. So I had done all that work and didn't once save my file, which is not good. But here we go. All right, so let me turn on the uh, image. All right, so here's our fish, and here's what we've drawn so far. What we're going to do is unite all these shapes together. So it's just one thing, and then we'll edit any little problems or issues that we see. And what we'll have is like a, a geometric outline of this ship. A uh, ship. No, it's not. Yes, we're drawing a ship now, gang. Uh, no, it's a fish. It's not a ship. All right. So let me, I'm going to leave the image off for this. All right. The, we're going to use a new tool called the Pathfinder tool. And we're going to unite all these shapes. And this only works if the shapes are filled. And we can unite shapes across layers. And I'll show you how to do that. So come over to your layers palette. We're going to be editing stuff, so we have to unlock the body layer. Okay. Hold down the shift key and select the body layer. So now both of these layers are selected, and there's some operations that we can, not all, but there's some operations we can do to multiple layers. Uh, come over to your, um, so now here we are with our image. We can use the black arrow and do a marquee selection, meaning I could come out here and select all these pieces and parts. So since both layers are enabled, everything is selected. Uh, let me deselect, or you can just do Command A all, or Control A on the PC and everything is selected. Uh, a lot of times doing the marquee selection is, is more precise when you get into complicated stuff. <clears throat> To unite these objects, the only way this works is if they're filled. Okay, these guys are not filled, they only have a stroke on them. So come over to the left side, and we talked about this a little bit before. What you're going to do is swap the stroke and fill. So I'm going to hit this little curly arrow. And if I look at my image now, I got all these black shapes. This is filled with black, there's no stroke on it, and they're all selected. So that's the rule. They have to be filled and they have to be all selected. Now here's the next step. Click on Window, Pathfinder. Everything's in alphabetical order. And this little Pathfinder palette will, will appear here. Let me put it where we can see it here. Um, okay, so this is a really useful tool that we'll use a lot. and for now, in the beginning of the semester, we're only going to use two tools. One is the Unite, and the other one is Minus Front. But we're going to unite all these guys. So hover over Unite. They're all selected. I'm going to click Unite. And lo and behold, now we got one big honking shape. Now when we did that, check out over here in the Layers palette. It, um, pulled up all of the imagery into the topmost layer. So like this whole fish is called fins now, which is a little bit confusing. Now what's in the body layer? Nothing, there's nothing here. Okay, so that's, you have to be cognizant of that. So okay, this empty body layer, make sure it's empty. Hit the delete key, turn on this layer that's called fins now, and it doesn't make sense to call it fins. Um, I guess we could call it fish, but uh, what am I going to call it? Yeah, let's just call it fish. Why get creative at this point, right? Okay, so now let's take a gander at this. And um, again, I'm interpreting the photo. I'm not copying the photo. I don't, you know, I'm not really concerned. But like what is really messed up here is if I look at these two anchor points, this very, very sharp indentation, that doesn't look organic at all. This looks credible, this little part. I mean, you could envision a fish fin like that. 
So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is smooth out this these two points with the um, anchor point tool. Easiest way to do that: come back over to the left side and select well select your fish, and let's swap the fill and stroke. Okay, so now we only have the stroke. Um, we're going to deal with these two guys. Enable the white arrow select this anchor point, this very very sharp anchor point. The anchor point tool um, you might know it's it turns curves into corners and corners into curves. So we have this very sharp corner shift C, our friendly little bird beak anchor point tool. Hover over that anchor point that you want to edit, click, hold, and drag and you gotta make sh it's easy to get these twisted up. So like Take your time and move it, and we'll have this nicer curve here, like this. Um, do you like this little curve here? I kind of like it. If we wanted to, we could edit it, you know, any way we want to. But personally, I, I, I kind of like the way it just happy accident, as uh, Bob Ross would say. Let's do the same thing. Hover over this corner click hold drag take your time don't get it all twisted up get it like a nice organic shape now this one eh, not so sure what if I pull this down a little bit what happens that looks okay eh, that kind of looks kind of cool that way I, I really like what I'm you know like again like you know these things are just I could, uh, like th this shape, this curve here, is a very nice lyrical uh, shape there that I like I like a whole lot. And it, it's kind of mimicked down here. Tail, am I happy with a tail? Honestly, no. If this was like a professional job, you know, I would spend some time stylizing the tail. If you want to do that for this exercise, that's fine. I'm going to leave it go as it is. One other thing I want to point out, which I should have pointed out in the previous video, but I didn't, is if let me turn the image on, um, and let me deselect here for a sec. See this fin here, right here. I intentionally did not draw this fin with a shape because what we're going to do is like we're just going to like have some stylized rays of the fin here. So I on purpose I, I left this go. Okay, so that wasn't uh, a mistake. So let's take a look at our fish again. Okay, this is what we have so far. So um, again, if you're new to this, sometimes you have to redo stuff. Sometimes you have to start from the beginning. Just uh, take your time. Let me save my file by hitting Command S. And I don't know why this came up. This file has been modified outside Illustrator. Do you want to continue? Folks, I have absolutely no idea what, what is going on there, but I don't care. I'm going to hit yes um, and save it. Don't know what, what's going on, but that's okay. So it's saved, and I will see you in the next video.